Ready? These three bodies are in equilibrium. They are at rest. Net force on them is zero. Vertical, horizontal. Mg. Normal reaction. Same. Tell me out of these three, which is stable equilibrium? Unstable. Neutral. 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 If you realize at this position, the energy in this vicinity, if I uh, maxima minima, have you learned? Yes, yes sir. If you try, if I try to find the maximum minima of energy in this region, uh, unstable equilibrium, will it be energy maximum or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Energy is maximum here, and if I go right or left or any direction, it will be lesser than that. So it will be energy maxima here, and here it will be energy minima. minima in this locality, nearby points, nearby positions. And here it will be like a stationary point, neither maxima nor minima. So sometimes if you, I just give you potential energy uh, uh, position, say ux. So potential energy, suppose is a function of x and a body is free to move along x. So where will be the equilibrium position? Do you know that du by dx gives us force in x direction? Do you know that? Yes, sir. Have you heard of this? Partial derivative of u with respect to x, which means if I change x, small change in x, and find out the change in potential energy, then the ratio of these two, this gives me the force. Actually, change in internal energy is equal to f dot dx or wo sub funda. Uh, have you heard of this? Yes, sir. Yes. So now just see. If I find du by dx and that gives me fx, if I equate it to zero, what will I get? x equal to will be the equilibrium position where the net force is zero. Am I right? If I find the second derivative, df by dx, and then I test it. If suppose second derivative is negative at that equilibrium position, sorry, negative, less than zero, then it will be energy maxima or minima? <laughs> Energy maxima. Second derivative for any function. If first, uh, if second derivative is uh, negative, the function is second derivative at a point is negative. That means it is what? Maxima. So uh, potential energy is maxima, so unstable. And if potential energy is uh, like the second derivative was positive, then minima, so it would have been stable equilibrium. And if second derivative was zero, <laughs> neutral equilibrium. So this is just, uh, so this was just a brief. Now, what is simple harmonic motion? What is periodic motion? Is the rotation of the earth periodic? Yes. Is the revolution of the earth periodic? Yes. Is that motion harmonic? Is that motion simple harmonic? Every periodic motion need not be necessarily harmonic motion or simple harmonic motion. I'll tell you what is the meaning of harmonic motion. Periodic motion is, so every periodic motion will be harmonic motion, yes or no? Every harmonic motion has to be periodic, yes or no? Yes. Now, what is harmonic motion? To and fro motion. If you have a spring and you have a mass, a frictionless surface, mass, K, if you displace it from its equilibrium position, leave it, what will it do? It will try to come back to its original position. Again, because of that inertia, velocity at equilibrium position, it will go this way, da 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 da. So it is doing to and fro motion. So any to and fro motion in which the body is retracing its path. And the motion is to and fro is called harmonic motion. Now, what is the, uh, how do I find out that this is a harmonic motion or not? Please see this. If restoring force, if I disturb a body from its equilibrium position 
and the force acts on the body which is opposite to the displacement. So suppose I have taken the body here. Now the spring displacement is in this direction towards right. And the force to the spring is towards left, Kx, if x is the displacement. So if the force acting on the body is in opposite direction, the displacement from the equilibrium, then such a force is called restoring force. The force is trying to restore the position, the, the body back to its original position. And such forces are called restoring forces. So whenever there is a restoring force, the body will always be like if you displace it towards right, it will always try to come back to left. If you take it towards left, it will always try. So such motion where you have restoring forces are harmonic in nature. Simple harmonic, if the restoring force is proportional to the displacement, then the power of this should be 1. If the restoring force is linearly proportional to the displacement from the main position, and is oppositely directed, minus sign. Why am I saying minus? Restoring, Restoring in nature, opposing the displacement. So if the net force acting on a body, when it has been displaced, if it is restoring in nature and linearly proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position, yani ke iski power is 1. So such motion will be simple harmonic motion. If power is not 1, if I say this to the power 2 or this to the power 3 or 3 by 2. Now, will this be SHM? Will it be harmonic? Yes, sir. If opposing nature is there, it will be harmonic. But if linearly proportional is also there, then it is simple harmonic motion. Have you understood this? So, this is just the theory, the, the thought. Now, we come to exact problem. Now, in SHM, there are two divisions. One is, you will be given a physical problem. Suppose this is a spring of spring constant K and you will be told that if I displace this mass, it is in equilibrium. If I displace it from its equilibrium position, what kind of motion will it undergo? Will it be SHM or not? And if it will be SHM, then find the time period. Now, in such cases, the, the, there are four steps you have to follow. First step is you have to check whether this is going to be a simple harmonic motion or not. For that, give it an imaginary displacement, say dx towards the right, small displacement. We'll come to the nitty gritties later. Right now, every when I'm saying small displacement, actually the equilibrium position, we give it very small displacements and see whether it is SHM or not. It's not like you can give it infinite displacement or any, any finite displacement and expect it to be simple harmonic. No. One. So if I give it a small displacement, dx towards right, the force acting on the mass will be in which direction? Towards left. So are they opposing in nature? Yes. So either I write in words or I write force is equal to minus and what will be the force? K. KDX. KDX. So I, if you are writing in vector form, you will be writing minus sign to show the opposite directions. And if you are writing just the magnitudes like this, F is equal to KDX, then you will write in words that they are opposing, opposite to each other. Force and displacement are opposite. So the force is restoring. So the force is restoring. So then both the ways are valid. If you are writing in words that they are opposing, so uh, uh, the force is restoring in nature, or you write vector form may minus sign, both are acceptable. Now, so is is it a linear? Is it a simple harmonic motion? Yes or no? Tell me right now. Yes, yes sir. So always you will do one thing. If there is a body in equilibrium, give it a small displacement. Find the net force. The moment, this is the first step, find the net force. Once you have left it, you do not have to hold it. To displace it, you will be exerting a force and then hold it here. Once you leave it, then you have to find the net force. You do not have to consider your own exerted force. Yes. First step is find the net force. Second step, 
Once you have found the net force, find the acceleration of the body. Acceleration will be net force divided by third step is in SHM, in simple harmonic motion, we learn this mathematics in next half an hour. That acceleration is always proportional to omega square dx. Displacement. Acceleration is always force is proportional to this. So there is a thing called omega. I'll explain how do we get this. So acceleration is always equal to omega square dx and minus sign is acceleration and displacement will be in opposite direction as I earlier mentioned. So if you are writing the magnitudes, you will not write minus sign. If you are writing it in vector form, you will write it as minus omega square dx. Have you understood this? So I will equate the force. Let me do this. So what is this second step? Acceleration is k dx by m. And now you equate acceleration to this minus omega square dx. So acceleration k dx by m is equal to minus omega square dx. Here I wrote magnitude, magnitude. So I can continue in magnitude or you keep writing minus sign if it is vector form, whatever. So finally, this dx. So we'll have to remove the minus. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So finally I get omega square is equal to k by m which means omega is root k by m. And I'll tell you how do we get this omega little later. And fourth is that the time period is 2 pi by omega. 2 pi by omega. We'll learn this when we'll do this. These are the four steps you have to understand. That whenever I give you any problem of SHM and suppose in this question, I didn't ask you time period. I just asked you find whether this motion is SHM or not. What will you do? Please tell me. Uh, Only the first step is enough. You find out the net force. If the net force is linearly proportional to the displacement from the mean position, please write it down. Dx is not the displacement. Dx is the displacement from the equilibrium position. Write it in bold. Dx is the displacement of the body from its equilibrium position. This is the simplest case. Now be attentive. So this step proves whether the motion is SHM or not. If it has been proven that the motion is SHM, then you need to go and find the time period. If it is not SHM, nothing to do. Next step is find the acceleration. Third step is put acceleration equal to omega square dx and vector form I explained. Find omega, then time period is 2 pi by omega. Now tell me, if instead of translational motion, linear motion, if it is rotational motion, what will be our first step? We will give it an angular, a small, here we gave a small linear displacement. In rotation case, what will we do? Small angular displacement from the equilibrium position. What will be the and if the restore net force, net torque yeah force? If net torque is linearly proportional to the d theta and oppositely directed, if suppose d theta is anti-clockwise, torque is clockwise, oppositely directed, then it is restoring in nature, linearly proportional, proves that the motion will be will be simple harmonic motion. And then we next step will be what? Alpha. Torque by moment of inertia I. And then third step. K by I. Put alpha is equal to omega square d theta. And find omega. Time period will be 2 pi by omega. Have you understood? I'll give you a very simple case of rotational motion also. Just see this. 